afternoon, welcome to Sports Vibe TV. We are here with Sports Vibe's very own and Reading midfielder, Lois Roach. First things first, congratulations on winning the title. Uh, going into the game, how did it feel knowing that if you'd won, you could wrap up the title on the weekend? Uh, it was exciting going into the game knowing if we won, we'd win the league. A um, little bit nervous when we got to the ground, but uh, overall, we was, yeah, we was all just raring to go. You know, We set out at the start of the season to be promoted. And uh, fortunately for us, we got that with three games to go to the end of the season. And then straight after that, it was just three more cup finals to win the league. And uh, thankfully, we done that with a 3-2 win over Aston Villa. So, yeah. After such a long season, how did it feel to achieve something so great? Uh, <laughs> long season, you're right. Um, we, we started pre-season in, I think, maybe October, November. So, uh, yeah, we've been training for quite a while now. And, um, yeah, it, it was brilliant to to get promoted first of all because that was our aim and to be crowned champion is just unbelievable I don't think it's quite sunk in yet but no it's a, it's a brilliant feeling and uh, all the girls worked really hard and we deserve it So you're going into the Women's Super League Division 1 it's going to be pretty tough I can imagine what are the priorities for the team in terms of strengthening? Um, I suppose you might have to ask a manager uh, strengthening team I think to go up to such a division the top division in women's football in the country uh, I think we'll be a little bit naive to think that we we couldn't strength we need to strengthen um, but you know that's only better for us girls that are already at the club you know competition for places and things that will only strengthen and make us all better so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to who we bring in and I'm looking forward to the competition next season and playing against big teams. What about on a personal level is there anything you're going to be looking to strengthen? Um, <laughs> uh, don't ask a question. Um, I'd like to think probably working on defensive, my defensive game, probably coming up against bigger and better players next season. That will have to be a key, a key focus for me. Uh, maybe airily header, head in and stuff like that. But I'm not going to give the game away, you know. <laughs> um, so there's going to be some top sides you're playing against next season. Is there a particular fixture you can't wait to sort of get get on with? Uh, I think you have to look at. The likes of Chelsea, Man City, who are, who are competing this season in the Champions League. Uh, that'd be brilliant to play against them. We played against Chelsea and Arsenal last season. I think we, we come up short, but we was very close to an upset. Uh, we played against Chelsea and we led the game twice and lost 3-2. And um, went 2-0 behind against Arsenal and brought it back to 2-1. So um, I think with with more training and with strengthening the squad, I think we'll have a real chance of competing with the likes of them. And it, I just can't wait. In terms of working full time, how do you how do you maintain working full time as well as being a professional women's football player? Um, it's hard. Uh, obviously, I work here at Sports. So I was a sports journalist nine to five, and then I train in the evenings on a Tuesday and Thursday, eight till ten. So um, it's hard, but you know we wouldn't have it any other way. I think all the girls on the team we all we all uh, work full time and. We train in the evenings and we love it, you know. Yeah, we do get in late at night and things like that, but it's part and parcel of the game. If if you want to play, you have to do it, and there's no complaints. Now, we've heard that FIFA 17 is potentially going to be including the Women's Super League on the game. What do you think your best attributes as a player on the game will be? Uh, <laughs> I wish I could say speed or pace, but it's, it's never, ever going to be that. Probably... I like to say maybe touch or long pass, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, in terms of uh, priorities for next season, what do you think is a realistic achievement for Reading next season? Uh, I think a realistic aim and what it probably will be our aim will be to stay up. I think that's important, you know, getting getting promoted to the top flight is one thing, but actually staying there and um, competing and doing well in the league is, is another thing. So, uh, yeah, we will be looking to stay in the league and hopefully come mid-table. I think that's realistic and I think if we push hard enough, well, I think we can get there. OK, well, good luck for that. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Thanks.